Rebecca Gibney and Kylie Gillies are going to do the Dakota Trail. <laughs> They're going to do, it in, gonna they're do, gonna do it in high heels with people walking behind them carrying a fake tan and hairspray. Stop it, I don't do high heels. I'm a hiker. <laughs> you are I'm a hiker. Re Re Rebecca would be great. I just said I wouldn't stop whinging from, from where to go. No, you would, <laughs> can you get a Winnebago up the Kokoda <laughs> Trail? Our next guest is a very familiar face, a lovely face on the small screen. We love her. With a stellar career spanning more than 20 years. It is, of course... Rebecca Gibney. Yeah, yeah, ahead okay. of her role, a brand new telly movie, The Killing Field, alongside former Flying Doctors co-star Peter O'Brien, Rebecca Gibney continues to set the benchmark for Australian actors. She's a lady. Oh, 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 she's a lady. There's no denying that Rebecca Gibney is Australia's small screen queen. She first grabbed our attention in the 1986 series Flying Doctors. I'm overall efficient driving a plane, don't you? Aircraft or aeroplane. Never plane. Oh, everyone calls them planes. Only people who don't fly them or love them. She then went on to star in Halifax and Stingers before landing the role of a lifetime in Pact the Rafters. Good luck, Jules. Oh, thanks. You too. <laughs> Bye. Well, this is exciting, eh? It's terrifying. Go and knock her socks off. Oh, I love you. Love you too. Oh. Then, Rebecca hit the big screen, appearing alongside Tony Collette in the 2012 film Mental. I don't blame them for not loving me anymore. I know I've let myself go. Now she's back, starring as a detective forced to come out of retirement to solve a small town crime in the new telly movie, The Killing Field. This is exactly why I took a test job. I don't want to feel like this again. Five bodies went missing in November. If we do our job now, there won't be another victim. I think he's married. Oh, just when it was heating up, Rebecca Gibney joins us live <laughs> yeah. in the studio. Yay. Well, Rebecca, that looks like fun. Which? The kissing Peter O'Brien? <laughs> <Rebecca. laughs> They're looking the for the serial killer. No, no, the kissing bit I was actually oh, referring look. to, but it looks like you did have a great time shooting this. Tell us about it. Well, it's a, a, it's a mystery thriller set in a small country town. A young girl goes missing and the search for her uncovers a grisly discovery. So a team of detectives from uh, Sydney are brought in to investigate and everyone in the town becomes a suspect. Oh. Wow. Um, it, it looks absolutely intriguing. Hey, w were you worried about life after rafters or looking you know what looking back at that tape i'm going to withdraw the question because you've always just gone from <laughs> yeah. one, one great thing well, to another great thing rafters was happening i was developing other stuff as yeah, well yeah, yeah. thinking about the future and um and i knew that rafters was had a, had a time span kind of thing and, and i'd approach channel seven and we were you know developing different things and they came to me with the killing field it was called something different then and uh and we took it from there so that was a year ago cast it crewed it. Here I was we are. watching rushes at the end of the day after filming and editing. I was going to say, this is a real passion project for you because yeah, you, you weren't just the actor. Yeah, so one of the producers, one of three yeah. producers, yeah. So was that yeah. great to get you? It's fantastic. Just to be, it, yeah. have a voice, to have some input yeah. into the script development and everything. In the casting process, I was at every casting, you know, not the casting couch, but I was at every <laughs> casting session. See, I reckon here's the thing. If you're, if you're not part of the production process, then you can always say to people you love, well, they just wrote for me that I had to pash Peter O'Brien. <laughs> but now that you're sitting in a meeting going, I think I'd like to pash Pete. Where did we put that in? <laughs> no, they already put that in. They wanted it further. They wanted we to, us to go a bit further than that. Oh. oh. OK. Yeah. How's the news that we make? Well, you've got to figure out what you... Well, I won't tell you what happens. But. <laughs> no, please don't tell us what's happened. Now... Because I said to you, what nights is it going to be on, blah, blah, blah. It is just the one it's night. A, it's a movie event of the week. It's Sunday night. So we can't miss this on you Sunday? You can't miss this. I mean, we are developing scripts for it to possibly go into a series the, with the characters, um, my character and, and Lachlan McKenzie. Um, but, yes, it's a, it's a one-off. It's great because it's a whodunit. So you will, by the end of the 90 minutes, you will know who did it. Oh, we've got to sit there the whole 90 minutes and try and guess yeah, the outcome. You do. Well, that's a great that's thing. It's, thing. It's an armchair detective thing. You do sit there and, and no one so far has been able to guess it. Oh. Well, that means that everyone so far is wrong, which means we just have to <laughs> think <laughs> outside <laughs> the box. Did, how did you prepare for this? Did you go and spend some time with some detectives? Because you had I a did. little bit of uh, Halifax. Halifax, was... I was a forensic psychiatrist. Yeah. spent a lot of time with psychiatrists. Wow, they're... they're Interesting, people. interesting people, interesting yeah, lovely, people, yes. But boy, they've got some <laughs> stuff going on. So I did actually uh, interview a, fr a female detective and also one of my really good friends is a federal officer, so I spent a bit of time with him. And I'd run stuff past him and go, would this really happen? He's like, yeah, yeah no. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, actually, no, the, the, the writers and the creators are very, very um, on the ball with the procedure. They run everything past police advisors, so we do know that what we're, we're putting out there is... Fantastic. I often yeah. wonder that with those with shows. drama added to it. Yeah, I often wonder that with those shows, what the people who actually do the job yeah, look no, in, watch the TV and go, yeah, that looks yeah, right. We have the police advisors. Uh, you have to, because otherwise you get the police going, yeah, as if. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> um, now, you've been quite open about your struggles with anxiety. Mm -hmm. uh, was that something that factors into taking on a role like this where you're looking into these sorts of dilemmas for people? Um, look, certainly in this, in this um, particular telling movie, the character battles with her own in, inner demons and anyone that's um, had kind of therapy, I, I introduced a little thing called tapping, which you see in the, in the telling movie. Um, it's, it's a character trait for, for Eve, but yeah, I have no problem talking about it because mm -hmm. there's not enough awareness. I did suffer terrible panic attacks and a bit of a breakdown in my early 30s, got oh. some help and... Um, very happily, here I am. Here you are. But was yeah. that a result of being a female working in television and the pressures that come with that and, and acting and, and no, being in the public eye? You know what? No? We've all got our baggage and mm. you've just got to deal with it. Otherwise, it'll come back in some way, shape or form. If it, For me, it was panic attacks and depression. Some people get serious health issues, other health issues. You have to deal with it. You've got to talk about it, get some help. And, um, okay. Um, you can move through it. Girls, I'm so excited about this whole Kokoda thing. I can't even tell you. Oh, yeah, no, I, you, 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 are, you are a hiker. I'm a hiker. I love hiking. Oh, we we went to Lord Howe Island and hiking go. New Zealand. We're, we're going to do the um, the route burn track. Yeah. There's an overland track in Tassie. Come on, Kylie, we can I'm do it. I'm not even Maybe, sure how you spell the word we'll hiking. Prepare, <laughs> we'll prepare for Kokoda by doing like the overland. She's Let's, changing the subject. No, well, no I, my husband has done the... And he said it was the, the without doubt, the most difficult thing he's so ever done. I don't know whether... No, Kokoda, I think we might have to start small. Maybe, a, maybe we can walk to the shops in Mossman Rebecca and I just said in the commercial break that we'd take Kylie to down to Katmandu to get some gear. And she said, is that where you get cats and mans? Um, <laughs> so you, you're in. I think this is going to work great. It's going to be a documentary. Perfect. It'll be fantastic. Uh, yeah, on mm. Maybe we could hike in Italy. Maybe we could do that instead. In, in high heels. Because Italy is, is good for high heels. Why? Did, did you just tell me to hike off? Like that, that. No, I did not. Oh, thank, thank you, Rebecca. Thank Great you. to see you. You, too. Uh, you can catch you. The Killing Field exclusively on Channel 7. It is this Sunday night at 8.40. And you've only got to commit to the one night, folks. Yep. So it'll be fabulous. Thank you, Rebecca. And the documentary of Kylie and Rebecca hiking Kokoda <laughs> coming after coming the ever. tennis. Coming, coming after the tennis.